Unit 10. Meetings. Hello, Mr. Stewart. Hi, Sue. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. Thank you. Please sit. You usually only call for my services during tax time, so I figure it must be important. Actually, it is kind of important. Very important, really. Really? What is it you would like me to do? Well, I would like you to look over these calculations that James and I have prepared and let me know if you think there's anything that's wrong or that you're unsure of. Would you like me to just look over these figures or actually recalculate everything by myself? If it's not too much trouble, could you also make your own calculations? I think that would be a much more thorough way of doing things, don't you? And also a lot more time consuming. Time consuming, yes. So let me tell you what I would like you to do. Look over these and I think that you'll be able to figure out what we're up to. Yes, and then? And then, if you're interested and available, I'd like to hire you as the financial consultant for this project. So, in other words, you would like to offer me a job? That's right, if you'd like. What is it that you are doing, or is it a secret? No, it's no secret. We're going to expand our business. Is that so? Yes, that's right. Paper bags. Paper bags? Paper bags to China. Paper bags to China? Hmm, sounds interesting. Okay, count me in. Hi, Sue. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. Thank you. What is it you would like me to do? I would like you to look over these calculations that James and I have prepared and let me know if you think there's anything that's wrong or that you're unsure of. And then, if you're interested and available, I'd like to hire you as the financial consultant for this project. So, in other words, you would like to offer me a job? What is it that you are doing, or is it a secret? Unit 11, Offering Possibilities Wake up! I am awake. What time is it? It's dinner time. Hey, I've got some good news and some bad news for you. Give me the good news first. Okay. Sue is going to join our team. Well, that is great. What's the bad news? Well, the bad news is I'm taking her out to dinner to celebrate her joining our team. Well, I thought you and I were supposed to go shopping. Well, I'm sorry, but something else has come up and, well, it's late now. Besides, we can go shopping tomorrow. I suppose so. Are you expecting me to have dinner with you guys? Oh, only if you feel like it. Um, otherwise, you can go home or you can stay here and work on the new proposal. Maybe I'll just stay here and work. Because there's a lot to be finalized before we can meet with our bank next week. Okay. Um, do you want me to bring you anything to eat? Uh, good idea. Uh, maybe just a hamburger and some french fries? Okay. 
Would you like cheese on that? No thanks. And no mayonnaise either. I hate that stuff. Hey, I've got some good news and some bad news for you. Give me the good news first. Well, the bad news is I'm taking her out to dinner to celebrate her joining our team. I thought you and I were supposed to go shopping. Well, I'm sorry, but something else has come up and, well, it's late now. Besides, we can go shopping tomorrow. Are you expecting me to have dinner with you guys? Maybe I'll just stay here and work. Because there's a lot to be finalized before we can meet with our bank next week. Um, do you want me to bring you anything to eat? Unit 12. Planning an important meeting. So, uh... Who from the bank are we supposed to be meeting with? Well, either Mr. Jones, the bank manager, or Mr. Smith, the bank chairman. Well, who do you think we can get a better deal with? Do you remember the last time we met with them? Yes. Mr. Jones gave us a $500,000 loan and then the chairman tempted us in later with a $600,000 loan and a 20% overdraft facility. That's right. So why not just make an appointment with Mr. Smith then? Because Jones says that Smith is out of the country and he doesn't know when to be back. It seems as though Mr. Jones is intent on making things difficult for us. Seems so. Well, we may need to take our business elsewhere. I'm already one step ahead of you. I've already begun contacting other banks. Good job. Find out what you can about foreign banks, too. Maybe I should join you and Sue for dinner. We could discuss this whole banking matter more. Okay, but this is a social dinner to welcome Sue, not a business dinner. All work and no play is not a balanced lifestyle, James. Perhaps I'd better stay here and work then. Up to you. Work or relax. You can stay here or go out to dinner as you like. So, uh, who from the bank are we supposed to be meeting with? Well, either Mr. Jones, the bank manager, or Mr. Smith, the bank chairman. Well, who do you think we can get a better deal with? Do you remember the last time we met with them? So why not just make an appointment with Mr. Smith then? Well, we may need to take our business elsewhere. I'm already one step ahead of you. I've already begun contacting other banks. Good job. Find out what you can about foreign banks, too. Unit 13. Expressing a wish. Oh, I wish it was Friday. Why do you wish that? Because Friday is my favorite day. It's the day before the weekend, and that means I can relax. Out of all the things in the world to wish for, you wish it could be Friday? Yeah, sure. What would you wish for? Well, have you ever heard of the saying, if wishes were horses, then beggars would ride? That old saying? <laughs> my father used to tell that to me all the time. In fact, my grandfather used to say to my father all the time. 
Those are words of wisdom. Let me tell you, James, I don't wish for anything. You don't? No, I don't. I set goals for myself, and then I do whatever I have to to achieve that goal. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, James. I don't wish for things that I can't have. I set goals, goals for anything, and in that way, I can achieve anything I want. Well, that's deep. So ask yourself, James, would you rather have wishes that may never come true, or set goals for yourself that you can achieve? Hmm. I like your way of thinking. Hey, by the way, did you contact our bank manager? Yes, I did. And I told him that we would like to arrange a meeting with the bank chairman. Now, I hope he didn't seem upset that we were going around him. Did he seem okay? He probably wasn't expecting this. I don't think he was overly surprised. I just hope he doesn't try to block our meeting with the chairman. Yes, I agree. I hope he doesn't try anything funny with us. I really need this meeting to go forward. Out of all the things in the world to wish for, you wish it could be Friday? No, I don't. I set goals for myself, and then I do whatever I have to to achieve that goal. Would you rather have wishes that may never come true, or set goals for yourself that you can achieve? Hmm. I like your way of thinking. Hey, by the way, did you contact our bank manager? Ah, uh, yes I did. And I told him that we would like to arrange a meeting with the bank chairman. Now, I hope he didn't seem upset that we were going around him. Did he seem okay? He probably wasn't expecting this.